I can clot out the mm. order. Mm. Hmm? I just may come out of shelter for your Pigs being rescued. Yeah. Sanctuary. Yeah. I don't want to eat all this meat. Nobody pig. Nuts. You can eat some nuts. No, I look, I ate some nuts this morning. Yeah. <laughs> it was only three. 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 How much? I'm not doing nothing. How much was it? Three. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. No. But nuts were not worth it. No more nuts. No more nuts for me either. Okay. See, bro, it make me feel good to know that there's other people just as childish as me out here. And they in professional settings, too. I just love that, man. Because <laughs> people be trying to make me feel some type of way because I still be childish a lot of times. Though. I like to have a good time, man. I like to laugh, enjoy life, bro. God damn it. Everybody's so serious all the time. <laughs> she was eating them nuts. Mm-hmm. I wonder if they were cashews or peanuts. What a, kind of nuts your freak ass eating? <laughs> you guys paying separate or together? Uh, together. I'm going to pay for it. I know that's right and is it's giving gentlemen because as a man why aren't you paying for the whole thing give my car back it's giving bird brain it's giving smooth brain it's giving you're never gonna see me again after this it's giving i gotta go to the bathroom and i might not come back it's giving lord have mercy what in the world is wrong with these women it's giving all kind of stuff it ain't giving that i want to actually try to see what's gonna be with you later on i want to just get up up out of here that's that's what it's giving god damn bro that's so annoying bro <laughs> can y'all please stop going on them podcasts and talk about how women only want money from you now, there are a group of women that are really like that. But when a black woman really like you, she become your trick. I have never understood how a woman will exhaust so much money on a man that they really like. And the weird part about this, all of the women under this post can relate to this. You knew you liked that man when you started filling up your Amazon cart of everything that he may enjoy. We out getting wings, you pull out your debit card. That's how I know the people that you tried to date never really liked you because they're not spending no money on you. Mind you, women are very selfish with their money. So stop, stop. When a black woman like you, like she really like you, this lady will pull out her debit card so fast. Jesus. So stop complaining and date someone that actually likes you. Problem is you continually go after people who don't like you. And then you get on social media and complain. Now look, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. A lot of things he said was true. If a woman, especially black women, if a woman really like you, dog, she will buy you a lot of stuff, man. But most of the time, dog, the women who really spend and trick money off on dudes, bruh, they the type of women who want to be a nigga mama a lot of times, dog. Because first of all, a man who got a lot of things going for himself, he ain't even really looking to receive a whole lot of gifts from his woman and he's going to be the guy that's doing a lot of stuff for the woman. But man, I'm telling you, those two people, the guy who likes to buy a lot of things for women and the woman who likes to buy a lot of things for men, they hardly ever come together for some reason. I'm telling you, all of the women I know who be splurging money, they almost always dating some dudes that like if you was a dad and you saw your daughter with this guy, you'd be pissed off like, baby girl, you could do so much better. Prime example. I'm going to use a classic meme. Y'all ever seen that meme when the dude be behind his fat girlfriend and she's in line and she's about to check out at the cash register and y'all be like, yeah, this is how it look when she buying you that PS5. Dude hugging all on it like, yeah, that's bait. I'm telling you, that's the classical example of the woman he's talking about, bro. Now, I ain't going to say that they ain't got some women out there that's buying some stuff. They got, you know, they just like to reciprocate. I ain't going to say that, but man, just, just from what I can tell, them type of women be like, you know, they like to, they like to work on projects. Take a bum ass nigga and try to build him up, and then they get mad when this dude does get built up and wants something that's not on his new level. <laughs> I'm just saying. And that new woman he go and get, real talk, bro, she ain't even gonna buy that nigga a motherfucking thing. I'm keeping it real with y'all, man. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I done seen this. This ain't no content that I didn't just seen somebody regurgitate. This is stuff I witnessed with my own eyes in my life. Side cheeks are one of the major reasons a lot of men still stay married. When their car break down, they have their spare tires to manage until they fix their main tires. Imagine they were no spare tires. How much money does he have to make per year? At least a hundred thousand. Going to 50-50 or someone who fully provides? Fully provides. What does that mean to you? 
that I would have an allowance. How much would that look like for you? I would say like 7,000, 5,000 per month. Hey man, y'all know what my question to her would be? Listen, you want an exceptional man, bro. This dude is making six figures, which most men are not. So what about you is exceptional? What's gonna be the value exchange? What are you gonna do that's worth $7,000 on a monthly basis? Like, that's all I wanna know. Is he getting a superior feminine woman? That's all I wanna know. What does he get in exchange for all of his money? Hey, look, I ain't trying to justify it nothing like that, bro. But like, let's say you a man and you got a wife and she didn't put your, like Gilly the Kid say, she didn't put your dick on the shelf. She didn't retire the coochie. But you still are expected to lead, provide, and protect. Lord have mercy. And what do you get in return? Other than the unconditional love from your kids. Because obviously you're not getting it from your wife. A lot of men are not going to leave their wife. It's just that simple. They're not because they want to make sure that their kids grow up in a two-parent household and everything like that. So, yeah, man, they'll go out there and either pay for it or get them a mistress or side chick. Man, y'all know how many great men had side chicks? <laughs> Again, respectfully, I'm not justifying the action, man, but y'all got to understand, bro. Some of these dudes, these conversations about relationship are a lot more nuanced than people give them credit to be in. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not trying to justify it. But, man, some guys, that's the only thing keeping them from just doing something stupid. <laughs> if you're a real hustler, you always broke. Because you always betting all your re-up money. You bet it all on what you trying to get. So if I'm trying to get, let's say in the street. Right. If I'm trying to get to a, 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 to, to a bird and I'm flipping ounces, every you, you dollar- You're making anything. Not even making, every dollar yeah. always goes back. Right back. Every yeah. back until I, and then once I get to the bird, pause, I'm a 100 birds. So again, every dollar is going to be flipped till I get to that buck. That's called all money in. And that's called, some people call it broke. Some people call it all money in. For me, I just like to say, fuck it, man. I, I believe in myself so much that I'm broke. Say, look, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, man. I rock with whoever rock with me. So this really go to the young ladies and to the young men, real talk. Cause I read a couple comments recently. Got a lot of young women that follow me, but man, here's the thing. Everything he just said, some real shit, bro. And if you ain't got no kids, you could do that. <laughs> Cause I can't do that, bro. I can't go all in with nothing. I can't afford to go broke. Cause I'm trying to make this business pop off. I gotta make sure the lights stay on in the crib. I can't be as aggressive as some of my partners who don't have kid with the uh, money, but I am aggressive with my investing. I am aggressive with all of that kind of stuff. But if I was a single man with no kids, who you talking about throwing everything at it, everything. You know what I'm saying? That's leverage that you have over life and other people who don't have that same setup telling you you will get further if you ain't got no kids that you have to depend on bro it's crazy how i took it there i know i know but i'm trying to give y'all some game bro live your life you got plenty of time to have kids bro real talk don't be dumb like me <laughs> i can't do this with you anymore every single time i come in here your room is a mess you're talking back you're slipping at school i don't got time for this i'm sick of it and i'm gonna tell you another thing one thing we not about to deal with is your app. She go. She go. Listen. I know how she is. Okay. I know how she is. You know how she is. I know. That's what I'm what, saying. What are you thinking? I, I don't know. I don't know. You want to deal with that? You keep doing what you're doing. Because what you're not going to do is you're not going to put me in a situation where I gotta pick her side or your side. I'ma pick her side. I gotta sleep next to that woman. But you know, I understand. I know, I you know. know how she is. So just fall in line. I know. Do what you gotta do. All right. Stay out of trouble. And that's the last time I'ma have something to say about it. Okay? Hey man, I'ma keep it real with y'all, dog. I remember having sit downs with my dad, bro. I'm talking about me, my brother Sam, and my brother David, and my sisters too sometimes, but that was way back in the day. My sisters both are six and eight years older than me. So I'm talking about when I was 12 years old, my little brother was 10, my big brother was 14. I remember having sit downs with this man. Say, bro, listen, y'all know how that woman is, man. 
Listen, bro. Just do what the fuck she said, bro. And everybody life will be easy. <laughs> no. All women are like that. I don't care what nobody say, bro. If you got a son or a daughter, they're going to piss your wife off. They're going to piss your baby mama off, your fiance, your girlfriend, whatever she is. And you're going to have a have you going to have to have a heart to heart with them one day. Like, man, listen, bro. I got to live with her, dog. <laughs> That's some real shit. Where the biggest disconnect is right now is average men are not desired by women that are average. Women have openly said, I would rather be in a rotation of a man of high value than to get with a man and do the things we're talking about building. So what do we tell men here in the middle? That's the unheard part of the conversation. These guys are starting to feel unheard unacknowledged and unmotivated because what is a life for a man who can go work to be a cog in the machine? You're starting to see a lot of guys saying, well, if I'm not going to have a career where I'm making six figures or more, why do I need to go to college to get all that debt? I can't have her anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it real with y'all, bro. I've always been a go-getter, an ambitious person. I've always had odd jobs. I've always had hustles. Even as a little boy, I sold candy. You know what I'm saying? I fucking mowed my neighbor's lawn, all kind of stuff. But every man not like that. Guys, believe it or not, a lot of things that we enjoy as Americans and as people as a whole would have never came about if there wasn't a man seeking greatness because he had a family. I'm serious. A man with a family has something to work for. So with these dudes feeling like a woman is out of their, you know, grasp, man, a lot of shit just not going to get done because certain men need that motivation. If you talk to a lot of guys who do anything as far as entrepreneurship, their wives, their family or their kids, man, I'm telling you. And when they don't have that, what are they going to do? Like, it's just me. I ain't got to try to hit the top of the mountain. It's just me. So I feel what Kevin Samuels was saying just now. I can bomb a cloth out of order. Ooh. Hmm? I just may come out of shelter for your f***ing bright and out of order. Ma'am, you don't come back in here either. Oh, I'm walking to the gate. You know, you're wrong. Oh, really? No. Hey, no. hey. I'm no. warning you. Don't come back here, Robert. Right. That's how you going to do it, itch? Right, stop, That's how you going to do it, itch? After, right. after I come out of the shelter? And pay thousands of dollars to put a roof over your friggin' head, you and your sisters. Bro. This is how you show me respect. That's how show you respect. This is how you show me respect. Oh After all that I do for my family, you ungrateful bitch. I just don't need the cops to come here right now. You ungrateful? No, no, no. Huh? After I tell him, why are you here? Listen, don't let the cops stop. Robert, go through the door. Say, bro, some people don't know how to stop when they're ahead, bro. That mama sound like she from the islands, and they bought it, bro. Listen, hey, bro, some some people are lost calls from the jump, man. I don't know what happened to this little girl or nothing like that, but, bro. Trust me, man, something happened because if this is true, if Dave was really all about the, you know, run that choo-choo, man, that's that's something wrong with her, dog. Real talk, because that's not normal. Okay, go through the door. Go upstairs. I don't care. Go, I, I, ho yeah, right, let her walk and right get now. some fresh air in your brains, because guess what? In and now, blood clot, you was Mari. The more I suffer when I suffer in my life, and I don't want to turn my house in a whore house. Eh? Whore house? After me suffer with them, I pick me up. Hmm? Fucking bright on all to order. She out here? She out here with the guy? I, 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 I come out to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let you bring the cops in here and see what happened. Oh, huh? After I'm in there now, now it's one o'clock in the night. I come out here. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I see the guy. Why the fuck you gonna bring a guy into my life? After you see all that I've been through, telling me how people don't have no way where to sleep. So the mama said it's one a.m. in the morning, bro. It's a bunch of boys in the house. Seventeen-year-old daughter. Listen, y'all know what time it is, bro. That's the perfect concoction for a choo-choo. That's what it is. And 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 because you know my weakness for people, you gonna tell them what to say. 
so that Amari can be sorry for them. Oh Lord. Huh? Manipulative. Your your cute way of disrespecting my house. I, I say to the guy, I, I come out. Now, I'm the adult in the house, and I've gone down to shit. Yeah. Mm. I come out here, I see her and the guy. Oh, wrap up, and I say, Destiny, go to your room. Yeah, Wrapped up. When I tell her, go to her room, I come in the kitchen. Look at my kitchen. So all these people in my house oh, eat one plate, one pot of food, rice, everything. Run all day eating out my 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 food for the coronavirus, and 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 look at my friggin' place. And yum, you you so called seventeen year old. I want to bring money in my face. I want you. I said to the guy, I said, Destiny, go upstairs. Yeah, didn't say nothing bad. So they figure I'm going back to my room and I ain't coming back out. She come back out here with the guy. Yeah, this is a disrespectful little girl right here, man. She is definitely uh, a 304. It is what it is, man. Yeah, I said it, God damn it. We all went to high school and middle school with them. They was 304s then. She don't get spared just because she young, bro. Hell no. We call her a spade what a spade is over here, God damn it. That's what it was. Where her dad at? I'm telling you, man, a lot of times when you're dealing with women like this, bro, if you're a cool dude and know how to talk, you gonna get to the bottom of why they like that. And a lot of times, you got an uncle or somebody like that then did some foul shit when they was a kid, bro. I'm telling y'all what I know, dog. Real talk, a woman, a uncle, it, it, something happened, bro. And then you got a small minority of them who was just born that way. She come back out here with the guy. So I tell him, he gotta go. She telling the guy, he ain't gotta go nowhere. Yeah, I heard what you said. Huh? After me work so hard in her life, huh? After me got you so much, after God saved me, saved my family, she telling the dude he ain't gotta go nowhere. Mm. She ain't know that God talk to me and God tell me things. God say, Mona, you've been set up. They work on your weakness. Work on your weakness. You want to live in with your man in my house. So you come to me with your little story. Oh, this poor guy. He don't know where his mother at. Mm. They were staying in a hotel. Andy calling her, can't get her on the phone. Oh, really? Really? And all your bullshit story? Because you know I'm a child of God and I've been through a lot. So you want to work on my weakness, Satan, you lie. Hey, man, working on people's weaknesses. That's like Samson and Delilah, bro. She found out what his weakness was and that was his his downfall. Real talk. People will learn your weakness and use it against you. And, and, and at first, they had me. They got me. I was like, I, I say to the guy, hey, don't worry, son. Whatever you've been through, my whole family have been through. Mm. I'll be a mother for you. And then when I lay down and God turned up my, my tuner in my brain, God said to me, Amari, they set you up. Set you up to come live in my house with a man at 17 years old. Um, go, you see that yellow cream in the back and forth? Huh? Imagine. She upset for so real. So God, bro. you take me. Not even out of shelter. You took me off the streets. And I must do what? Come live what? Dirty life. Dirty life, Father God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh? All the first so many people gonna be in my house. And and I go to my bed with dirty dishes. When, I, when I'm on my, my phone ordering things by Amazon. And, and, I, and at first, they had me. They got me. I was like, I, I say to the guy, hey, don't worry, son. Whatever you've been through, my whole family have been through. Mm. I'll be a mother for you. And then when I lay down and God turned up my, my tuner in my brain, God said to me, Amari, they set you up. Set you up to come live in my house with a man at 17 years old. Huh? Imagine. She upset for so real. So God, 
You take me, not even out of shelter, you took me off the streets. And I must do what? Come live what? Dirty life. Dirty life, Father God. Huh? All the first so many people going to be in my house. And, and I go to my bed with dirty dishes. When, I, when I'm on my, my phone ordering things by Amazon. Hey, bro, listen. <laughs> That's why you got to be slow to let somebody enter into your house, no matter what side story they give you, dog. A lot of people who find themselves in these type of situations, oftentimes they put themselves in that situation. Most of the time when you're dealing with adults, that's the case. But sometimes with kids, they were dealt bad cards. It is what it is. Thousands of stuff going to Walmart buying thousands of stuff going to bj's buying thousands of stuff you don't just bring robert you bring all his friends to eat up all the stuff that was even even the main thing but this shouldn't it, it, um, i tell you jonathan it shouldn't be it came to beat and eat That's jonathan crazy. the last couple of weeks at charney how much thousand have I spent just to prepare for this virus thing? Damn, and I bro. tell the, the little girl, little girl, 17 year old, hug up with man one o'clock at night, undercover, under sheet, and I'm her mother. And all I say, Jonathan, all I say, I say, destiny, go upstairs. I said, go upstairs, leave him on the couch. I didn't even say leave him on the couch. I said, destiny, go upstairs. Hey man, y'all know what's so crazy, man. This world's so wicked, dog. That little girl will sit up there and spin a story like this woman was a abuser, all kind of stuff, bro. Get in front of them courts and just lie, character degra degradation, all that kind of stuff, dog. Like, bro, y'all gotta be careful with these people, man. <laughs> this is crazy. But you know, I, nothing surprised me at this age, dog. I I know girls who had trains ran on them for real, man. I was at one of my partner's house one time, having a little ball. Uh, was it a barbecue whatever it was man i remember being outside and i seen like four five little dudes climbing through his neighbor's window i said say bro you see that he was like oh yeah her mama gone bro <laughs> i said damn that's how it is but nothing surprised me man this is crazy